It's easy to analyze a culvert using HY8, a program provided by the U.S. Federal Highway Administration in accordance with HDS5 and HEC14. To start a culvert when we don't have a bunch of locations in a single project, all we have to do is add a culvert crossing. And everything we need to enter goes into this single form which I'll expand so that we can see the number of barrels as well as add some inlet depression information. Other than the culvert information itself, we need to tell HY8 about the flows to analyze, some idea of the tailwater condition information, and a model of the roadway in case the flow needs to go over it. We'll start with 1, 10, and 50 CFS for our range of flows. We'll go ahead with a rectangular channel 10 feet wide with a 0 0.002 bottom slope, a roughness of 0 0.022, which is clean straight gravelly, and an invert elevation of 2200. For our roadway overtopping model, we'll get a little fancy with an irregular section that's centered with the culverts at road station 5000 which if we make if we allow 20 feet of flow over the top of the road that puts the beginning at 4990 and the end at 5010 let's make it as high as 6 feet above the bottom of the outlet channel and let's make the middle a little bit lower than that. Let's plot it and we can see that we got a simple V for our roadway overtopping. And last of all on the left side we'll say it's a major road 100 feet wide. Then we can move over to the culvert information allow it to be a circular concrete culvert 2 feet in diameter with a normal roughness, straight no uh, broken back stuff for this example, but let's tell it that the pipes are mitered to conform to the slope so we can see it doesn't draw that very precise with its graphics that we'll be looking at. Let's give it a depression of 2 feet with a 3 to 1 slope and a w length of the weir for that depression the whole 10 feet that's the same as the outlet channel. Then for the culvert lengths and station and elevations, let's use a stream station of 500 at the upstream end and 636 at the downstream end. I calculated th 636 because the top of the road is 100 feet wide. The top of the road is 6 feet above the outlet channel and I might have a 3 to 1 fill slope. so. 3 times 6 is 18 on each side, so I need 36 in addition to the 100 foot road width. So I went with 636. The outlet elevation will use the same as the tailwater channel. And the inlet elevation, we need to go up, a, let's say, a tenth of a foot and then 2 feet for that depression because this is actually the weir elevation of the depression rather than the culvert, go figure. And then we can analyze the crossing. We see that the roadway overtopping starts at 30 CFS and we can go to other pages to see about inlet outlet control and actually look at some water surface profiles. I'm going to close this and try to see a front view of the culverts which I can't see until we've put the culverts at station 5000, which is what we intended to do. And there it is, the roadway, the 10 CFS, middle design flow, and the culvert. Then I click on the culvert, and go to profile, and I can actually see the profile. And you'll notice we don't see the pipe mitered, we don't see the inlet depression with its 3 to 1 slope at all, but we can tell that even though we said the upstream invert was 2202.1, it's really 2200.1, and everything looks just right, and that's all it takes. 
In part two, I'll let it design me a little riprap basin for the outlet. 